if alpha k is equal to zero, then we're going to get a system which is uh, this value over here goes to one, and then this is going to be two, uh, the difference between two sinusoids. So it's going to be an oscillatory system. It may not exactly be a sinusoid, but it will be an oscillatory system. But it will be bounded, and we call this marginally stable or harmonic. Now, I'm not going to go into the details, but it turns out that if you have repeated roots, uh, which are real or conjugate, then we complex conjugate, then in both cases, it's necessary that the uh, either the alpha i should be less than zero strictly, or if it's of the form alpha k plus j beta k, then the real part over here must be less than zero, strictly less than zero. Uh, if it is equal to zero, then we're going to get a marginally stable oscillatory system. For the uh, and if the uh, and the important case is that let's say we draw over here the j axis over here and here's the real axis. So when you say alpha is less than zero, we're saying that the roots of the denominator polynomial will need to be on the left half plane. Um, if you have roots on the uh, complex conjugate roots like this, these are going to be sort of uh, on the plus minus j value. So alpha is equal to zero and beta is equal to plus minus something. So this is going to be beta, uh, j beta, sorry, and uh, beta k, and it's going to be minus j beta k. So these are now complex conjugate on the uh, y-axis, this is going to be uh, oscillatory, but that means you have a single root over here. And on the other hand, if you have repeated roots, which are one on top of the other, like this, then we're going to get a system which is going to be unstable. So with complex conjugate roots, if you have a single pair of roots uh, that are on the y-axis, on the j-axis, then it's going to be marginally stable, but if it is repeated, then it's going to be unstable. So uh, if we have the following situation, we could have g of s has, uh, which is the, it has a, its denominator polynomial, which is b of s, let's say, has complex conjugate roots that look like this, plus minus j beta k. Uh, and it's subject to an input, which has r of s, which also has roots at plus minus j beta k, then what's going to happen is that y of s, which is given as g of s and r of s, is now going to have repeated roots that are going to be on the y-axis, and this leads to instability. It's an unstable system. And what, what this really means is that if the system's natural mode of operation has a harmonic, which is, uh, uh, which is represented by the complex conjugate roots, at a particular value beta, and we excite it at the same frequency, then we'll have a instable system. And in fact, this is exactly resonance. So uh, to sort of intuitively think about it, imagine that you have a, a, a swing, and that swing is swinging from side to side like this. Uh, so it has a certain natural frequency. The natural frequency corresponds to the uh, the length over here. So if you know the length, you know the natural frequency of the swing. And if it's subject to an input such that you push it just at the right time, what will happen is that you're causing an input R of S, which is matched to the natural frequency. And then at that point, Y of S is going to become, uh, uh, Y of T is going to become unstable. I mean, essentially, you can you can push the swing to its uh, operating limit, which would be all the way to the, well, it depends on whether there's a ceiling or not, but it can be essentially oscillate very wildly. So uh, this is, we want to avoid this, generally speaking, but in some special cases, we do want it. And that's when we want to tune a system so that it's oscillated, so that it's tuned to the input frequency. So if you have a radio that you want to tune, you choose its roots, GS, such that uh, it, is, it is going to be uh, excited by incoming radio waves at a particular frequency. And then due to resonance, we will find that even a small input is going to lead to a very large output, which is precisely what we want. So the theory of instability actually becomes the theory of tuning when applied to uh, this kind of uh, 
electronic system.